established. All right, Rivals Coliseum, SRPSS against Mexlayer One. Jeffrey, who do you favor in this matchup of Jackson versus Jackson? Well, I got to go with Jackson, I think. Do you want to explain why? Like, do you want to go through your your logic behind why you think Jackson's gonna win? Well, you know, when you put Jackson on Jackson, Jackson is just so good mm -hmm. that Jackson ends up winning most of the time, right? I think you're probably correct. They got like I, I like Jackson in the matchup as well, but I also think that like if Jackson is played right, Jackson can definitely beat Jackson. I think so. Okay, let's see how it goes. So this is an interesting. This is a classic start for a lot of decks. Uh, you see the rifles against the dogs, and then the rifle player goes uh, rockets. I actually think that if you get an engagement with the rockets and the rifles shooting the same dog squadron, you come up way ahead because every single missile effectively yeah. kills a dog. So even though there's two dogs, you will easily win that matchup if you can get it to fight properly. I think the SRPSS, he should not be moving his uh, his rifles away. He needs the rifles to be supporting the rockets in this fight. Otherwise, yeah. the 2v1, yeah. the, the dogs will win. So this is going to come down yeah, to a class of War Factory mirror, I think. Who can get the most tanks out, pretty much? Yeah, we're in a, we're definitely in a tank war situation. It, it's going to come down to who wastes shots with tanks and who has more tanks. Currently, SRPSS has more tanks, so I favor him. Mexler needs to kill this one life tank. Yeah, he does. Well, and, and you know, the only thing that could really change here is Mexler could go to jump jets, but yeah. I don't think jump jets are a very good answer for him right now, so. And neither are running Mohawks. Yeah, I actually have to say, we haven't seen Mohawks yet, which I'm amazed by, because I believe Mohawks are one of the better GDI units in existence, and I haven't seen anyone playing them yet. Yes. I've seen Talon from almost everyone, especially with Jackson. Yeah, completely agree. It looks like SRPSS yeah. is going to take an easy harvest to kill here. That's a huge bonus for him in economy. Uh, massive. He's so far ahead in money now. Um, I think Mexlayer, he, he drove his two tanks into three tanks. He didn't focus fire on the one that was low life. It actually ended up living the entire engagement. It's happening again. But there's this one low life tank. Eh, okay, he got it this time. This actually could work out quite well for him. Yeah, he's almost managed to trade off two enemy tanks for his low life tank and his full hit point tank that's worked out quite nicely for him it has yeah and, and srpss has a bit of an advantage to taking the control of the center there because with those two rocks placed there Mexler needs to, Mexler the has to go that Mexler. just in time oh. and it's too late oh nice deal there yeah man. that was just a classic war factory mirror where srpss came out on top and i think it came down to a little bit of micro and a little bit of srpss just having more tanks 